Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. Today, we're going over a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and that's why the hell is there no VR Dungeons and Dragons, or at least a great VR multiplayer RPG for us to sink our teeth into? This genre is a no brainer for VR. We get to physically embody characters, that's what role playing is all about. Yet, it remains one of the most underrepresented genres in VR. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We'll go over everything VR RPG related, like why the genre just makes so much sense, what games are out there right now that we can try, what games are coming in the future, and why is no one really making RPGs for VR? A lot of questions will be answered, and there are, of course, links and timestamps if you want to skip ahead. But before we jump in, this video is brought to you by VR Rock. VR Rock makes prescription lens inserts for all of your favorite VR headsets, and now they have them for the PlayStation VR 2. So if you've been struggling to get your eyeglasses to fit inside the headset, or you're afraid you might scratch the lens, these can be a great option. They magnetically connect, so they're easy to put on and take right back off. And if you're interested, I have a 10% discount code down in the description and a link to their webpage. Okay, so let's go over why this genre just makes so much sense for VR. If you grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons or any other type of role-playing game, you probably know this already, but the only thing missing from that experience is really cool graphics, something that VR can deliver. Now the Dungeons and Dragons tabletop experience is limited only to your imagination, but sometimes you do want to be a bit more immersed. See how this is coming all together? VR would allow you to physically look around your favorite fantasy world, wield legendary weapons, and view monstrous creatures up close and personal. The impact that VR could have here cannot be understated, and scale would be showcased like never before. It's one thing to witness a dragon from an isometric viewpoint, but meeting one face-to-face -face is completely different and extremely intimidating. Not only will you be embodying a character, altering your physical attributes, but people in the world around you will be able to see your gestures and mannerisms. This definitely adds to the role-playing experience, and it's the main reason why social applications like VR chat have become so popular. The majority of VR players are already role-playing, just not in a fantasy setting. So while VR chat allows us to get our role-play on, it's still missing elements like a progression system and deep storytelling. So let's take a look at what's available right now for us to play. Come on, don't you want to be like some hulking character in-game or, or play a cute little hobbit and run around through people's legs? Come on, that's what VR can do for us. As previously stated, the VR RPG genre is extremely limited with only a few major standouts. On the single player side, the only major game built from the ground up for VR was As God's Wrath, which was absolutely fantastic, but in terms of RPGs, it was mechanically simplistic. You can get some much needed depth from Skyrim and Fallout VR, but these are mediocre flat screen ports that require a lot of additional modding to stand on their own as VR games. Vengeful Rites and Vanishing Realms are two excellent indie attempts that were actually ahead of their time, but still remain a bit shallow or lack the polish of blockbuster RPGs we've become accustomed to. Now, as we move into multiplayer RPGs, we have games like Zenith, Demio, A Township Tale, Carnage Chronicles, and Legendary Tales. Many of these games have excellent features and stand on their own, but they're always lacking some type of major component to allow them to be considered a full D&D experience. Zenith is your average MMO with its strongest selling points being interaction and level grinding, which is a far stretch from playing Dungeons & Dragons. Demio does an amazing job of recreating a tabletop experience, but it's completely lacking a progression system. There is no Dungeons and Dragons without asking if you're leveling up this week. The closest we currently have to Dungeons and Dragons is a Township Tale, Carnage Chronicles, and Legendary Tales. But again, none of these are a perfect match. A Township Tale focuses a lot more on crafting rather than fantasy questing. Carnage Chronicles nails the combat, fantasy setting, and quest lines, but again lacks a true RPG progression system and character customization. And finally, my favorite experience, Legendary Tales, not only delivers the best online multiplayer combat, but also has a fantastic character building system that rewards you for playing the way you want. Unfortunately though, here there's no cosmetic adjustments or a storyline to experience. So basically nothing delivers the entire package. So let's take a look at what future games offer to see if we'll ever get a real deal D&D experience. Resolution Games will be releasing some more Demio, but it's going to be a PvP battling game, so that's closer to Magic the Gathering or something like Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun to play, but definitely not D&D. Now, I mainly bring this game up because I constantly hear Demio is VR's Dungeons & Dragons. 
as good as the game is and as much as I love it, that statement is just not remotely true. Now we also have As God's Wrath 2 on the way, which is the sequel to hands down the best VR RPG out there. We're getting a 60 plus hour campaign, deep storytelling, and a character progression system, but it's still only a single player experience. As much as I love my single player RPGs, Dungeons and Dragons is an extremely social experience and requires multiplayer. And this right here brings us to Dungeon Full Drive, which is a direct attempt to bring Dungeons and Dragons style gameplay into a VR world. Not only will you get the tabletop experience, but you could also shrink down into the game world itself. This project has been funded by a Kickstarter, which began roughly two years ago and managed to raise over a quarter of a million dollars. Now we're finally starting to get a look at their progress and unless they're using a lot of smoke and mirrors this project is looking fantastic if they can manage to pull this off it should scratch that very specific dungeons and dragons rpg itch i wish them a tremendous amount of luck on this project because it looks insanely complex there's a map building system cross play support with pc players plus fifth edition dungeons and dragons character sheet integration it sounds like a dream come true but can they actually pull it off and finally we should expect some of the ar headsets to try and integrate some tabletop systems Battle Map Studio already works with Tilt 5, and I'd love to see the Quest Pro or Quest 3 get something like Roll20 support. A lot of times I still use a laptop with my IRL Dungeons & Dragons games, and an AR application would be even better here. Come on, we could go ahead and actually roll some virtual dice. Like, hand tracking. Oh, uh, it's a 20! Crit. Now, I've spent the last five minutes discussing just how good a VR Dungeons & Dragons experience could be. So why don't we have anything like this or any good RPGs? Well, that's our final topic. RPGs are typically known for their length and storyline, two components that are usually underwhelming in VR games. The typical flat screen gamer is used to an RPG going big, having an extremely long campaign and a lot of replayability. VR titles unfortunately can't deliver this because they have a lot less funding than traditional flat screen games. Instead, they need to aim for the biggest bang for the buck, which just really isn't storytelling, cutscenes, and lots of dynamic gameplay. Additionally, VR development is more complex. And finally, a VR RPG would be a niche within a niche. We have to face the fact that VR gaming is still niche and not everyone enjoys RPGs. So developers don't want to play when the cards are stacked against them. Now, hopefully one day VR gets big enough that these huge open world RPG games become commonplace, but it's not going to happen right now. I'd also love to see Dungeons and Dragons officially get involved, bring their D&D Beyond software over into AR or VR. That would be a fantastic experience like I explained during this video. I know these tabletop companies are usually reluctant to kind of split their group, but Wizards of the Coast is finally getting more and more into the computer side, the digital side of things, while Games Workshop, that's uh, the guys who do Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, they've been more and more reluctant to recreate their actual experience in a virtual environment. They don't want to split the player base. It's still very much a hobby world for them. D&D... A little bit different i really hope it happens i'm curious how you guys feel like do you want that rpg experience do you want to embody a character like you know see what your character looks like if it's rippling muscles or tattoos or whatever like just to take on the role of that person role play a bit swing some awesome weapons decapitate your enemies have fun like basically blade and sorcery online but with storytelling role playing and a progression system i know sounds like a dream come true at least to someone like me let me know what you think down in the comments and that right there was today's video